code. This meeting is being recorded. All right. Welcome back to... Oh my god, not a watch knob. I'll be all right. Welcome back to Watch Talk Across the Pond. We are your host. Um, we have uh, one to watch. We have Abdul, our watches. And we have not a watch knob in the building. And we are going to be talking about... Go ahead, take We're it away. We're going to be talking about watches and wonders. We're going to look at some of the watches that we like, probably roughly about three each, and maybe one we don't like, and then ones we're unsure about or any, anything a bit controversial. If we get time, we don't want to make it too long. Um, mm -hmm. Very quick, extremely quick, not necessarily talk about, but a quick sort of wrist check. Uh, Bill, what, what have you got on? The day just. Okay. Yeah, that's like very apt. Very nice. Very nice. Abdul. Nice. I have my uh, Philippe Kluck uh, oh. custom made watch. Oh, that's nice. You need to swear at us. What What that's... is the uh, thing on the bottom? That's, uh, that's my name in Arabic calligraphy. That is so cool. Can you put that a little closer? Oh, my God. Um, I'll take now, it off. Now, which way does it easier. go? If you don't mind me asking, because I don't know nothing. Oh, about very it. nice. It goes down like that. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. I'm trying to get the zoom on it. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. That is nice, that Abdul, is... yeah. So yeah. cool. Two, two, two top watches. Uh, I've got mine. I've only had this about a week. So guess what it is? You know? The Seiko, it's the, right? It's the it's the Seiko Alpinist Ginza. Oops. <laughs> nice. It's the Ginza. Love it. R really nice so, style. Honeymoon. Still in the honeymoon. I've only had it a week. Okay. Cool. So watches that we do like. Bill, you lead. So I'm going to start off with something a little controversial. Because it's something I've talked about hating for a long time. And let me pull up the share. Tudor. Screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm only buying the only Tudor I'm ever buying. Ah, is, oh, look at we've how got cool. you on Tudor. It's really nice. Finally. Yeah. That Finally, is gorgeous. That's look nice. Look at that band. I mean, the band alone. If it's on yeah. any other band, I don't want it. But hmm. look at that. Holy cow. The, the cheek chronograph in the Black Bay line is steel and yellow nice. gold. That mm. is beautiful. Yeah. All right. I'll stop sharing. What do you got? Uh, what are you thinking, Abdul? -Ar? I have uh, this uh, Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda Retropont GMT. Oh wow! And uh, I, I, I've been wanting to get a Parmigiani. This one is definitely something I would love to get, but it's it's out of my budget. But mm. they do lose a lot of value in the secondary market. But the coolest really? thing here is that this GMT hand uh, has a like a Retropont function. So let's say you're traveling somewhere and you finish your travel and you go back home, you just press on the the knob there and the GMT goes back to home. Oh, so wow. you're like, I'm back home. Great, wow. great, yeah. That's cool. Now is Parmigiani uh, from, um, is that like uh, literally from Parma, you know, Italy? Is that like where they get the name? No, no, it's a, it's a Swiss, uh, Swiss. Um, really? Swiss through and through uh, um, company, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Dean, you? what do you have? That's that's nice. So, okay, let me share. Oops, no. Oh, what's happened? The mouse stopped working. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, guys. There we go. We're on share. So, okay. So, I've actually, I suppose I should have got this ready, shouldn't I? So, I'm going to go to, guess what brand I'm going to go to? Seiko. No, oh, Mont Blanc. Wow. Mont Blanc. Ah, okay. Oh. That's I'm a surprise. Go to. I'm going to go to this one. So I'm going to go to the Geosphere. I'm going to go to the Mont Blanc 1858 Geosphere Chronograph Xerox Journal Limited Edition 290. So wow. yeah, fairly recently on um, mm -hmm. Perpetuality, a friend of mine YouTube channel. Um, he did the Mont Blanc uh, Go Gobi, Gobi Desert, um, which was similar watch, but it was after Renault um, Messner um, and his, you know, expl exploration. Um, this watch, as, as it says, zero oxygen, Renault Messner has nominated somebody to repeat his feat of 1978 to 1980, where he he went up oxygen first person uh, to go up Everest with no oxygen. So this watch, they've, they've, what they've done, they've, there's, no, there's no oxygen inside, so it, it can't like steam up or anything. So like zero okay. oxygen. So this, this guy, I've written his name down, he's um, 
his Nepalese name is Nim Nimzul, Nimzul Pardew. He is, and I think in May, fairly soon, he is going to go up Everest, no oxygen, wearing this watch. And wow. the other thing with this watch nice. is the same as the other one is the back of it. Mm. They do bring artwork. That's the back, and that is nice. the the part of Everest that um, that Reynold Messner actually went up, and he's going to go up the same route. This uh, fantastic mountaineering guy is. Have you ever seen so that nice. guy do it in shorts? You ever seen that video of the guy doing short sleeves? And yeah, Wim Hof. Wow. Wim Hof. Yeah. What a yeah, there yeah. we go. So we've got it working. There we go. That's when my I was first choice. Pounds, I swear I could do that. When I was 300 pounds, I didn't feel cold at all. Didn't matter where I was. I swear. If I, <laughs> Bill, you know. Next watch. Next watch. Come on. Right, I'm sorry. I got a little sidetracked. All right. The next watch I have is probably the sexiest dial I've ever seen on a watch. Let me get that up real quick. Um, one second. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sharing screen. Look at this. Oh, is wow. It, yeah, the Moser. Moser. Yeah, Moser is, yeah. Secondhand concept mm. balloon. Lime green. Yeah. Look at this. It's like artwork. Oh. Yeah. They oh, are lovely watches, agree. aren't they? They're, they're so wow. well made. Look at yeah. that. That mm. is so beautiful. I, I could stare at that watch for hours. Even the back of it. Look. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. It's almost Grand Seiko that. quality, isn't it, that? Oh. No, it's much higher, I guess. <laughs> a bit high. Don't even, yeah, don't even put them in the same. Yeah. Look, at that, look at that beautiful Man. dial. Yeah. It's like emerald. All right. How about Bill, you? Just turn, turn your mic up. Your mic's a bit low, I think, Mike. Yeah. Right, here we go. How about yeah. now? Are we better? Are we better? Are we better? Are we better? Are we yeah. better? Are oh, we better? Bit, that's yeah, that's better. perfect. Yeah, you way better. Okay. Yeah. Right, Abdul. I actually go. had this for my, uh, my second watch. Okay. I really like the, the complication. Uh, the whole idea is that you get uh, Hermes. They have actually a really good um, watchmaking um, department. Mm -hmm. So basically here you have a world timer where you have the inside shows you the time mm -hmm. and you can switch. So basically the sphere inside moves around the mm -hmm. cities. Oh so God. let's say you're, you're in, uh, let's say in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. So basically you move here around and you get then the time for Bangkok. Wow, oh, that is yeah. brilliant. That is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Show a video. It says videos right there. Let me see a video. Oh, that is that's definitely my favorite. Videos. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so oh, mesmerizing. Nice as well. The... It's a nice color. It looks yeah. nice. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that the, thing's the, the colors. Yeah, I thought a video of it. Uh, uh, no, there is no video of it. That's uh, nice though. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, uh, this is the, the the one that they did uh, last time with the um, with the moon phase. I don't know if you can hear the. Uh, I can hear it. Uh, close. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. They have the moon and everything. The what wow. is the watch? Yeah, here is the watch. So basically, wow. it moves around to shows you the phase of the moon. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just a, a play on this complication, but on the world time. Uh, module or a world time movement well i'll now, tell you, I'll tell you something abdo i i've never heard of this company so i think we uh, myself and some of our listeners have probably got a new company that can look up now as well wasn't that a purse brand don't they make purses yeah it's and a, it's, it's a, a impossible exactly. to find exactly they have like the birkin bags and the the the, the belts and the really expensive stuff and since a couple of years now they've been making uh, fantastic watches because they hired a couple of uh, watchmakers like master watchmakers mm -hmm. so they really have like a really pedigree they they even won a couple of gp gph wow. awards mm -hmm. so they definitely um, can can do a, a watch correctly Dean, to put it into perspective, they um their purses they like vet people. Only certain people can buy their purses. Like oh, they wow. vet yeah. you mm. and make sure you you fit their brand. Oh, obviously, they've, yeah, they've, I, yeah they've, they've never given me a call. So, <laughs> <laughs> so purse is like twenty five thousand, something like that. So, uh, why does my mouse a couple of purses? Oh, here we so. go. My, I think my battery's going in my mouse. I have to get it to think it's <laughs> a new battery. Show show us the watch, Dean. Okay, I'll share my screen. Which am I going for next? Yeah, I know which I'm going for. Um, so just hang on a minute. Let's do it all back. And okay. So just hang on. So uh, this is a good website. You can easily navigate. 
<laughs> it's definitely not bad. I was actually going to go to Watches and Wonders, but I do have so, a lot of work this what week. What am I going for next, brand-wise, do you think? It's on the page. Rasha and Constantine. I think you'd go for Tudor. Go for Tudor. Ooh. Oh, Lise Nardin. Lise okay. Nardin. Yeah, they've been on my radar for years. And the freak. Yes, you're in the same boat as me. This one's awesome. <laughs> oh, look at Play the video. That. Look at that. They it's put got, like it's everything. Got, it's got uh, these two things that go around these um, twin. Say, it's so, so cool. T- tubulon. A rocket and everything, perfect. And look at that yeah. little background, the sort of universe, a bit like your watch, Abdul. Your Smiths, the this yeah. bit of the dial, this bit of the dial is like your Smiths. Aventurine, Aventurine dial, dial. Yeah. Yep. And the yep. other one, the other one looks like Bill, Bill's got a watch that looks like this other one as well. Yeah, I got the Aventine dial as well. Go Show the video the, down there. Go to the the I think is it that's the S, isn't it? But if you go to the X, I don't like the X as much as the space. Yeah, this is like your watch, Bill. You've got one of these. I know. You? I you've should got, sue. <laughs> you've got that. <laughs> and what brand? What brand is the one you've got? ERA. It's all yours. Is all I will say. That's an awesome watch. It was a good pickup. Awesome. It is. It's a good pickup. You know, yeah. cheap compared to you know. I could. I can't oh, afford a bit a, cheaper than this one. On. <laughs> a Only a little bit. This one. <laughs> right. Hundred k uh, over the hundred k. Bill, your last one. That's nothing. Right. Your last Easy. Line. All right. Um, okay, so uh, let me show you what I got going on here. All right. Share screen. The sexiest reverso I've ever oh, seen. Oh, nice. Ooh, let me play it. Really nice. Yes. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Look at that, huh? Very nice. Cool. Yeah. Moon phase. Yeah, that thing's beautiful. Mm. So, what what's the brand? G- You've missed the brand here. JJ G- Lacoutre. Oh, is it? Yeah. JJ yeah. Lacoutre. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Well, you got Very nice. JLC is like uh, the brand of watchmakers. You know, like mm. yeah. They, they if you like uh, if you like watchmaking, you like yeah. JLC because they make fantastic watches. They, they mm-hmm. are good. My watch is also uh, from another Swiss Ooh. brand, Ooh. an independent one, Armin Strom. Mm. And um, this is the new Orbit. The cool mm. thing about this watch, if you can see, they have this style that they always make an, um, uh, um, the dial small, and then you can see the movement from, from, from above, like a Breguet style. Uh-huh. But this time... Uh, they have a retrograde date. So the date you can see here, the arrow, right? Oh. It's showing to the date. So basically, whenever you press this button, it jumps to the date that it's supposed to jump to. Oh, sick. Shows you the date. And then if you press again the button, it goes back. So it doesn't uh, in any way take away from yeah, lo- you looking at the watch. That's oh, incredible. Man. Now, how does it not get moisture in there? Yeah, that's the the whole idea that it's uh, you. Cl- it's not waterproof. You, you cannot oh. swim with it. You know what I mean? Never oh, swim that'd, be, that'd so be no uh... good. That'd be no good for me though, because I like water sports. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I could have taken it boating and things. This one, this one is zero <laughs> meters waterproof. Also, <laughs> like I, I, I put it in my pocket uh, before you, I you wash just, my hands. Yeah, you, you <laughs> just take you just take a different watch. You just take one of your waterproof watches. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting one, and I really hope most people really dislike this one, and it forces the price down. So there's a bit of a clue. So what brand's this? I've been. I'm not even going to guess. I've been wrong the entire what, time. Popular brand. Pro- Rolex. Popular brand. It's Rolex. So the, the lefty one. Rolex. Nobody will. Uh, oh no no hate no. it. No, it's not. It's not that. It's not the one you just said. The Air King. It's you mean the Air King? One. The Air King, yeah. No, actually, yeah. I, I've always liked the Air King. King. I like. The I Air always King. liked it, and yeah. this one I want to buy it. To be honest. Why are people but... freaking out? It looks the same as it did last time. No, What's the it freaking doesn't. difference? It's got the crown guards. The it's got the O5, guards. which is more balanced. There, it's got <laughs> mm-hmm. better movement. 
And what, what else has it got? Oh, it's got the loom. It has thinner loom on uh, the numeral and the hands mm. as well. So you have those both, little improvements uh, are massive. And it's that, thinner. in my opinion, that is a beautiful watch. And I really, yeah. I really hope everybody hates it. So no one else has got, not many people have got one. And I'm sorry, Dean, to tell you, but uh, can't tell <laughs> I don't think so. I know, I, I know. So. There is, there is a few of us. I mean, most most people hate it, which is brilliant. I, I, that's why I so like it as well, because you know, everyone else loves all the Rolexes. You can't get them and all that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. It might, might be worth putting my name down at the AD for that one because it's not as popular. But I still probably only have to wait about five years, won't I? You'll be 73 yeah. by the time you get that watch. Yeah, You'll be like, well, yes, finally. Well. It'd be, be good though, wouldn't it? I'll still enjoy it when I'm 73. Yeah, exactly. You'll be <laughs> still. I'll probably have the money for it then as well. <laughs> you guys probably have the money. My pension will finally come yeah. through. <laughs> I tell you what I do like as well is that green on the second hand and the Rolex with the yellow crown above it. That just makes that watch as well. It's everything about that watch you really like. Can't fault it. Wouldn't yeah, change your thing. Like, I know. I know when I get the swatch, I will just take it off the bracelet, put it on a rubber B, mm -hmm. and just wear it for maybe two weeks straight on the yeah, rubber I, bracelet. I probably would keep it on the bracelet, but when I get a new watch, I tend to wear it for about a month, five weeks straight anyway. Mm -hmm. no what it says. So I love be, Abdul. It'll probably be for six months straight for me. Abdul's like, when I get the watch. Me and you are like, if we get the yeah. watch. <laughs> Abdul's like, when? You know, I will get this watch. <laughs> Matter of yeah, the most like I, I, I really want that's the to most I've ever spent in a watch. Six hundred and seventy yeah, pounds, yeah. the most I've ever spent in uh, a watch. <laughs> three grand. That's a lot of money for me. I spent more, but I don't want to say watch. so. If my wife is watching, <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the money, but I just don't don't agree with spending much on watches. To be honest, I don't have the money, so I can't even say I got the money. It's really <laughs> one day. I've got the money, I don't, but I don't even don't... buy cars or anything. It's just watches. Like I don't have a car. I <laughs> it's watches. Right. I've like, got all those luxuries. You know. Right, who's next? No, I, I thought it's uh, for me. It's watches. It's <laughs> watches. How many yes. we have now? Have we, is that our second or third? I've lost That's our third one. Oh, the third. Third, third, third one. one you don't yeah. like one you don't watch. Like. Okay, this watch very much disappointed me. Are you ready? I got the notepad yes. out and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, um. Most disappointing watch I've ever seen. And I'll tell you why. Um, what the heck is that? Bomb and Maceer, what, what were you ooh. doing? What are you doing, Bomb and Maceer? It's just, I mean, it just looks like every other tanker, right? I like it. <laughs> you like it? What's wrong what do you it? think, Abdul? What's wrong I don't like it at all. I hate it. It just, I mean, like first it. off, you, you didn't like it. Hampton. Hampton is way too like uh, ritzy for me. It seems too like you know like the Hamptons. Make it, make you know, it's it got the stigma. Can you make it bigger, Bill? The actual the watch. Actually, see, see the watch. Just the, bon of Mercier trying to ca to ca to cash on the rectangular shape. Right. You have like the gondolo. Like it. Oh, the... Yeah, bon it just looks so I like overplayed. It. It's overplayed. Look at even the back is overplayed. Yeah. Just, how many yeah. watches can you get like this? You can get a Longines from the seventies that looks just mm -hmm. like. This. You can yeah. get, you know, a, a, I mean, Cartier looks way better than this. It doesn't this, got a second hand. Yeah. That's, that's what spoils it for me. What's the point of having a nice automatic and not seeing that beautiful sweeping second hand? What's the point? It's just if ugly. If it had a second hand, I, I like it. I'd buy it. If, if it had a second hand, I had the, you know, it's just it was good ugly. What, like what, what yeah. were they they, and they just Bon and Mercier also are on the way down, to be honest, and they're just trying anything just to hang on. Yeah, and no, uh, they're screwing up. It's like it for me. Yeah, they're screwing up. The Capelin was where it was at. Abdul, what yeah. you got? I don't want to uh, like go to hanging fruits, but this year's Oblong like it was, made that was one Abdul. of my Oblong. Uh, yeah, it was like the least one of my least favorite after Panerai. Um, they just want to be like. Uh, Richard Mille, you know, like I like it. I like it. The guy with the gold it's just, on. Like, uh, like Richard <laughs> Mille for the people who cannot pay the that, that's too 400, black. 000, that's too black. Pay... Go the gold one again. This is this one. Oh, this no, that's is the black, too black one. It's just all too black. Mm. And they have this uh this blasted like one, one, this colored one. Gold bits on. Like. You know what it yeah. looks like? It looks like just a um a Casio. 
that they I made automatic. Right? That yeah, one. Yeah. That's yeah. the other Forty thousand like euros. I would definitely <laughs> buy that one. Definitely. I yeah, like for forty k, I, I wouldn't buy it at nice. all. To be honest, tell me that's not a Casio. I've got the money, but I would I wouldn't spend it on that. <laughs> I don't believe you're spending more than about 700 on a 40 fucking K. <laughs> Look, 43 to 39, respectively. The titanium yeah, ones are 23. Oh, that's American money. That's a lot less Res- for us. Respectively, he says. Respectively, yeah. yeah. I'm talking American money. And the old money, black so... one is 26,000. Let's steal this. Let's steal your wallet, respectively. <laughs> exactly. And Go the sapphire pro- one, the, this one, let's, yeah. let's guess how, like how much does this one cost? 110,000. 83. 200,000. Jeez. Don't like it. Don't like it. it and it, it looks, looks like a, a G Shock, right? Yeah, like a like kid's a toy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, literally, they're, they're trying to. It looks like the new That's moonwalk. why I hate Oblo. Like, they tried everything to catch on. Like, look, this is looks like a, a bit like a, a Royal Oak yep. with a, a blue color. So, some other colors. Too much trying blue. To, 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 to make it like mm. a, a Rolex, you know, making colors, bright colors. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. And here mm-hmm. they're like, ah, okay, the the Mojave Desert uh, color. Like, please. Do you want a skin on. colored watch? Take this watch. They have please. a green one. You know, like, you have mm-hmm. a green one. A band aid colored watch. Uh, oh my god, horrible! These are horrible. The black and gold. How can you have color the without the Tiffany blue one? You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like I I I I dislike Ublo because they do this stuff. Like, you really. Uh, attack the ha- hanging fruit let's say <laughs> panerai is like a was a close second with this uh e uh e steel like recycled material and trying to be uh, more uh sustainable and aware okay Who gives that, a shit? that's good and everything then <laughs> give us then a, a cheaper watch if you're using reusable material right if you're using trash I'm saying. for pvc for your straps Someone's going to do it, don't, guys. Uh, uh, I, make us pay 10000 I agree <laughs> yeah. with that. It's like this car I sell is all fake, no animal product, but it's 60000 What? There you go, yeah. guys. I've oh, got yeah. to do it. Are you a lefty? I don't like anything about it. It's not just the, it's not just the lefty thing. It's the colors. Just, the, the whole thing is just... Ugh. Dean, but, you're a lefty, aren't you? Sprite? No. I actually... No. I'm... I'm, I'm a right-hander as well. Mm, me too. I'm but right-hander. I actually, my best friend, my my best friend is a lefty, and he wears his watch on the right hand side on on his yeah, right hand. Yeah, a lot of lefties do. And I, I think, guess for I him, this is like a percent of lefties do. A perfect one, right? It's just yeah. So. I don't like anything about. I didn't even like the color of the the bezel. The bezel doesn't work either. They should sell it at a really ridiculously low price and see how many right-handers will buy it and wear it ridiculously on their wrists, like. Sell it for like <laughs> 400 bucks, like something ridiculous, just because there's not that many lefties out there in the world. I'll tell you what's better, and uh, I'll be honest, I think they do a lot of better stuff these days. Is um, I think they've got, is, it, is it the Root Beer one? They've got um, the Black Bay Pro. No, well, <laughs> what do they name it after iPhones now? It's that one, yeah, the, the Pro, <laughs> yeah, the Pro, the Ultra, and the Pro, yeah. I actually like Pro, but I, I like that one better. You know? I don't I, like I want I want to have a leather strap on it, but I do like that one. The I GMT have a, one? I have a bracelet on it or the a rubber. Root beer. I like the root beer. Yeah, that's root yeah, beer. Yeah, I guess I like they that. just wanted to to get a new drink. because uh, <laughs> they have the root beer, the Coke, the Pepsi, so they now they have the Sprite. The, the, Sprite. the Sprite with the yeah, with the green and black. But and said you that. have to know also when are they going to have the had also Ultra? Made, uh, yeah, that would be uh, Omega then. <laughs> yeah. But Tudor actually have a left hand uh, watch. Like, they like do. The yeah. Pelagos, they, mm. they, they had the left hand. So I think Rolex was like experimenting with Tudor. How yeah. about making a left hand watch? It's sold, sold massively, was mm. very popular. And then they thought, okay, why not make a GMT on a left hander for the pilots that wear the watch on the right hand side? Yeah. I guess it's a it's a it's a nice addition, but uh, I guess the, the issue is that watches and wonder is like like forcing everybody like, hey, you have to show us something new. So uh, yeah. just put a, a new color, uh, <laughs> cancel a couple of dials. Ah, let's switch the watch and it's right a left hand side watch. 
So the other ones that that uh, impressed me were the people who like made a, a totally new complication. That's why I chose these watches because I never saw these complications on a GMT or yeah. on a date complication. Yeah. So it's something new and it's refreshing yeah. instead of putting some colors on it. Who's uh, to be honest? Overall, I think um, Tudor have disappointed that like in the. It, like in the last few years, every release have been wowed by what they've released, and I think this time, even that, even the, the what they call it, pro, the pro one with the steel pro, bezel, the pro, yeah, and it's really thick. I think it's quite thick. I yeah, fourteen points. I think it's the, it's the poorest sort of batch of releases from Tudor because norm, normally, they to me, they've stolen the show quite often. They've really mm. been on the ball the last few years. Mm -hmm. um, I think Grand Seiko seem to be doing. Some quite good stuff as always, but I'm a big mm. fan. The diamond one, that one was nice. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. about tag? Tag. They seem to put lab-grown diamonds on, um, not a dress watch, which would have been really good. They put it on a sort of. Um... Yeah, yeah, I have also one of the tags that I hated as well. It was like the one that using them technology. The You've seen it, Bell. I'll share it. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about that oil watch. You seen the watch that's made, that uses oil? The resins, that's that's nice. I like that one. Yeah. It's it really says, nice. It says for an affordable price. Did you see the affordable price? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 12,000 yeah, 12, francs. That's $13,000 affordable. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's about right. <laughs> I would say I do like a lot of what oh, Tag that, are doing. The issue is like with what? I do like a lot of Tag, but the, the one I, with I don't diamonds, like tag, which is that one. I think that's they why they did wrong. lab. I on think that. they're on on the way down. Also, what do you think? Yeah, of that, yeah. Bill? that's the one. That's the one I, I I was talking about. Yeah, I love yeah. it. That's plasma nano. Uh, yeah, I don't like it at all. I, no, I, I, I feel hate like it. they're just putting everything together. If they take like, the diamonds yeah, look, off, I like the, the watch. The diamond, it's on the wrong. Uh, it's on the wrong crown. Uh, it's not even the diamond. You though. know, like the moon watch. Yeah, the the moon watch uh, surface. Uh, they're trying. Okay, let's put a turbine on in the six o'clock instead of putting another subdial to help you read the chronograph. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. come on, tag. And 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 why put Carrera tag? That's nice. And Hoyer? That's why put nice. three brand names on the dial? Yep. You know what I mean? I agree. I like this one though. We will say that's nice. Could they have picked more blurry pictures? I mean, I understand they're all Photoshop, yeah. but <laughs> let's right. make it all wavy. <laughs> <laughs> let's tell them yeah this is a, a, a swimmable watch yeah, yeah. Everything way beyond okay it. we're not going to see much of the watch here we go that's nice they, they blurred it on purpose <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no i i don't like it to be honest any i hate any, it any of ones guys that they you know you want this to... is the oil one i think i think this is the oil one let's see the resin is that right the renaissance oh, okay. okay yeah that's the, nice. hand, the hand there's a bit strange isn't uh, it the hand it's... It's funky. I I don't know what, but it's all made out of. I don't understand how it works. It's funky mm. and it's like uh, if you go to the dial, uh, I, I will try to explain to you as I remember. It's it, it like different one has different configurations. So basically, uh, one has the date, the time, and the power reserve, mm. and uh, like at the twelve o'clock, that's the date. Yep. The two yellow. Uh, the two yellow. Uh, uh, um, Parts of the circle have, the are like the Saturday and Sunday. So oh. you have that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. And uh, basically on the four o'clock or the four thirty, that's mm -hmm. the power reserve. And then you have oh. like the time. And yeah. then it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, but it's, what's it's, it? It's hard to read oil to be filled? honest. What does oil filled mean? That means it's done by like an engine. What what does that mean? It means that uh, the dial. Yeah, uh, uh, and the movement are all filled with oil, like yeah. uh, oil that it's okay to that the mechanical movement can work inside it. Okay. So the whole idea is that this concave look, you can look at it perfectly. You don't have any kind of reflection ah, from any 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 side. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But I'm just what I'm saying is I don't. There's a hand on it, isn't there? See that hand there? Yeah. Yeah. The, that, yeah. that spoils it. If it wasn't for that, I'd like it. <laughs> What's the hand? Why the hand? It's Probably the hand, like to uh, 
to I think to set the watch up. So you go to the hand and then you open the crown from the back side because you don't have a side crown. Ah, and you, so then you, uh, that, that spoils it. Take that off and it's, it'll look good. I like it. If you take that you off. have to slap it to get to work. You go like this and yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the oil to start. Any any of ones it's guys? Like, work, like like I have one that interested me really a lot and i think um like i i, I don't think that I, i'll be able to get it or even afford it but Ooh. the langan zone odysseus oh, yeah. yeah in titanium good, good they, they were like explaining they plan to make 500 of it mm. and but they actually created a new blasting technique for the bracelet and the case and these small links in the middle, they actually finished it by hand. So hand polish. Wow. So they actually, the watchmakers, because it's so tiring, they said they would only make 250 pieces of the watch. <laughs> they got to pay those it's, guys it's more. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. Definitely one of these watches that, okay, that's. They that's, went on strike. That's only 250. That's, that's uh, it. My hands are tired. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you have like I'm not, dates. I'm not sure about the, the bracelet day. though. I'm not sure about the bracelet coming out there. The the that bracelet, shoulders, uh, it's uh, the bracelet. Great I don't bracelet. like that. That's too... the style of Elangan Zona because, like, Elanga is a watch uh, that uh, watch brand that makes uh, dress watches. Mm. Uh, mm. So basically, that's like the the answer for uh, a Nautilus, like a higher a higher mm. finish than the Nautilus, a better movement, a better uh, design for the bracelet. Because each of these links is hand polished and hand finished. Now this is a German so brand, right? This is a hand finished watch. Yeah, exactly. Now how do you say it? Don't like the bracelet. Elang, Sorry. What? Elangenzone. Elangenzone. They make actually a white gold one with a with a rubber uh, bracelet. That'd be better. And too. they have uh, the steel one on 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 the bracelet. Uh, the only the white gold ones are on mm. on rubber, like uh, like white we'll gold say, uh, Daytonas. Wow! I will say it's a beautiful watch head, but it's one of the ugliest bracelets I've ever seen. Really? 